Bienvenidos, welcome guys to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we're making an incredible seafood dish that truly hits on all notes, spicy braised Spanish cod with vegetables. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the greatest seafood dishes ever. It's very elegant, but it's very simple. It's easy to make and it's done in under 30 minutes. The perfect dish for any occasion, plus it's gluten-free and low carb. Now to make this recipe, we're gonna be using a technique called braising. If you've never braised anything before, it's a very simple technique. Don't be intimidated by it. Basically, we're just gonna be searing the fish without cooking it all the way through, because we're gonna finish cooking it in a beautiful rich broth. It's such an incredible way to enjoy fish, and it keeps it very moist, and it's very forgiving just in case you accidentally overcook your fish. And we're also gonna be using two types of smoked paprikas, the hot kind and the sweet kind. I'm gonna be using Kiva's sweet smoked Spanish paprika and Kiva's hot smoked Spanish paprika. Africa. Both of these Spanish paprikas have such an amazing flavor to them and they truly make this dish essential to this recipe. Link in the description box below where you guys can get these. All right, we're gonna begin by thinly slicing two cloves of garlic. Next, we're gonna finely mince half of an onion. Grab a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper. Make sure you wash them and pat them dry before you cut them. And I'm gonna use about a quarter of each bell pepper. Cut each piece into thin strips. And roughly chop it. And as I'm cutting all my ingredients, I always like to add them into a bowl. That way I'm not overcrowding the cutting board. Next, we're gonna grab one carrot and peel it. I always like to have a bowl underneath, just for an easy cleanup. And cut it into thin slices. Now let's get to the star of the dish. I've got this beautiful filet here of Spanish cod. You can use whatever type of cod that you like. This is 450 grams, which is about 16 ounces. I bought mine frozen just because it makes it a lot cheaper and it's been thought out. I'm gonna pat it down with some paper towels to make sure I remove any of that extra moisture inside. Cut the filet into two pieces. Season them with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. All right, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna grab a saute pan, heat it with a medium high heat and add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the oil for two minutes, add the pieces of cod into the pan, skin side up. After cooking these fillets for three minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. Now the thickness of these fillets are one inch, so three minutes is the perfect timing. If yours are a little bit thinner, a little bit less, if they're a little bit thicker, a little bit more. Okay, it's been two minutes since we flipped the cod. This is ready to go. They're not fully cooked yet, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and remove them from the pan, add them to a dish, and cover it with some foil paper to keep them warm. Now using the same pan with the same heat, add the slices of garlic and the diced onions, and mix them together with that oil, making sure to scrape up anything that was left over from that beautiful cod. After about two minutes and our onions are already translucent, let's add the diced bell peppers and the slices of carrot and mix it all together until it's well combined. About three minutes after adding the bell peppers and the carrots, I'm gonna season with half a teaspoon of sweet smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of hot smoked paprika, some sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And mix it all together. Right after you're done mixing this, add half a cup of white wine into the pan. You wanna do this pretty quickly, that way that paprika doesn't get a bitter flavor to it. Three minutes after adding the wine, you see that it's reduced in half. I'm gonna add half a cup of fish broth. Very important to use a high quality fish broth here. It's been about four minutes since we added the broth into the pan and everything has reduced, it's thickened up. This looks beautiful. Let's add the cod fillets back into the pan. Place a lid on top and lower the fire to a low heat. 
And we're gonna cook this for about two minutes. That is gonna finish up cooking our cod. This is gonna be such an amazing dish. Two minutes later, our dish is ready to go. Remove the lid from the pan and remove the pan from the heat. To plate the dish, I'm gonna add some of those vegetables and sauce into a shallow bowl. Add a filet of cod on top of the vegetables. Then spoon in some of that spicy sauce on top of the cod. And garnish the dish with some freshly chopped parsley. Okay guys, our dish is done. It smells so amazing in the kitchen. I'm gonna get in there, give it a try, and let you guys know how it turned out. Okay guys, here we go. First things first, everything is perfectly cooked. Those vegetables, they're so tender. Beautiful flavors to them. The cod is perfectly cooked as well. It's nice and flaky. Amazing flavors to this dish. It does have a little bit of spiciness to it from that half teaspoon of the smoked paprika, but it's a perfect balance of spiciness. Amazing dish, done in 30 minutes. This is something you're absolutely gonna love. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.